Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So recently I've put a little story on my Instagram and put a little question box up and asked people what sort of videos they wanted to see over summer. And a really popular answer from a lot of followers were vlogs, like weekly vlogs, daily vlogs. So I thought I would do some more vlogs over summer because they're quite easy to film and we just like vlog what you get up to that day and if people are interested then they can come along with me. So in a few minutes I'm going to drive to my parents house, pick my mum up and we're going to go to HomeSense to have a look around. And I spy on a few Instas and TikToks that the autumn collection is coming out and I love autumn like as soon as it gets to that cosy season I'm like yes this is like my favourite season ever. Like every season I say yes this is my favourite season ever. I just love all the seasons but when it gets to autumn and you're like getting cosy and it's not like freezing but it's going a little bit chillier. I just love autumn but would you lie, it's still a little bit early for me to be like buying autumn things but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm just sat on the couch right now but I'm just in this little dress from ASOS. I'm in that time frame where you're going on holiday in a couple of days, you don't want to wear any of your holiday outfits but you also don't want to look like you've dressed badly for the day so I'm in that kind of zone where I don't know what to wear but I thought I probably wouldn't wear this black dress on holiday so I went with this today and I've also trying a new lip combo today I forgot that I had MAC Spice lip liner in my drawer I normally just use the new sw nude suede shoes one from NYX which is honestly the best lip liner ever the lip liner is MAC Spice and it's kind of just like a dark pinky colour like a nudie colour and it's just a little bit darker than what I normally go for but I quite like it and I've got MAC Hue as a lipstick and then Charlotte Tilbury lip collagen rose I think as my lip gloss so I hope you enjoy the vlog and I hope you enjoy seeing what I get up to. <laughs> Just coming to Mum's garden, picking Mum up for our shopping day. Mum and Dad's cute new little area in the garden. Love these chairs. And Dad's built this little wooden wall, has he? With the herbs on. Yeah. It's so cute. Love the colour of this rattan, so nice. And we are wanting one of these for our garden, or like a rustic ladder with little plants on. Maybe some little herbs and things. I really love that. And I love these new additions. <laughs> Very Dalesford. <laughs> Very nice, Mama. Swinging away. <laughs> en route to home sense. Well, we're not en route, I'm not vlogging and driving. <laughs> we're still parked. You know it's going to be all the Halloween stuff. And autumn stuff. No. <laughs> in July <laughs> <laughs>
deal, haven't we, Mum? I got the lemon tea towels. Mum got the carrot. The carrot. Oh, I'm really bright. Yeah. Mum got the carrot tea towels. So we've made a little deal. She'll give me one of her carrot tea towels <laughs> if I give her one of my lemon tea towels. <laughs> Toast and a cup of tea. I've gone for that lemon, not lemon, lime, lemonade spritzer that Jake got last time we were at the Chopper Centre. Nice and refreshing and I've gone for a pizza again like last time. This one looks so good from here. And considering we are going to Greece in two days and I've got to be in a bikini, this is <laughs> very, very naughty, but it just looks so good. It's a, what was it, a small, cookie s'mores cupcake, cookie s'mores muffin. Looks and you so just nice. Pizza. I know, I've devoured that <laughs> pizza. Hey everyone, back from my little day out now with mum. I've changed into some comfies. I'm just like a big child at heart. I've got a thumper top on and I'm just in my cozy Abercrombie job is because as soon as I get home from anywhere, if I get home from work or like a day out, I just want to get into my pyjamas as soon as I get home. But I've got to take a little thumbnail for this vlog so I didn't want to have like my bright pink pyjamas on in the thumbnail so I've gone for neutral loungewear. You will have seen from the little snippets of the shops that I was just drawn to everything lemon. Like I was just filming everything lemon, I was like oh look it's lemon, oh look at this lemon, glasses, lemon tea towels, I'm just in a lemon phase at the minute. So yeah, sorry if you hate lemons but yeah I'm just a bit obsessed with lemons at the minute. We did get some really cute things, I've got my things in here and mum's things from mainly home sets and mum got some coasters from TK Maxx so I thought I'd just show you all of our bits just to include in the home haul because everyone loves watching a little unboxing. So I'll just start with what mum got in TK Maxx, we just had a quick flick through TK Maxx after looking through Home Sense. They basically sell such similar things anyway, but she spotted these coasters and they are so pretty. They've got like a really pretty pattern on them. They're like seagrass material, like wipeable seagrass material and she's got them to use outside for like little garden parties and garden gatherings and I just thought these were super cute, nice and neutral and a really pretty pattern on them as well. They kind of remind me of, you know that sun pattern from Tangled, Disney's Tangled, they kind of remind me of that, very pretty. And then as you will have seen we went a little bit tea towel mad, my mum and I have an obsession with tea towels, my mum's literally got like 150 tea towels in her cupboard at home and I just love tea towels. I like practical tea towels, like I will use tea towels obviously but then I've got my show tea towels as well that I just have for display or for like Instagram styling shots and these ones are very much for Instagram. So here are the tea towels that we got. We've done a little deal like I mentioned earlier on, I don't know if I included the clip, but I bought the lemon ones and mum bought the leaf and the carrot ones and there's a set of two here and this one is a set of three, but there's two lemon ones and then like one plain white one. So I'm gonna give mum one of my lemon ones and she's gonna give me one of her carrot ones. So we've got one of each. So I was so drawn to these obviously, but the pattern was so cute, like quite aesthetic looking and very like Italian Greek vibes so I thought these were super cute to have in little styling shots for the summer months so I got this little pack of three gonna give one to my mum and then I'll have a plain white one as well which is always handy to have and then these ones were super cute as well my mum bought these ones and we're just gonna do a little swap sees but these really reminded me of the Sophie Allport homegrown collection these are from KitchenAid and how much were they? $6.99 for two and these were $7.99 for three so not too bad at all and they're really thick like really good quality and obviously they're really pretty as well but this pattern is just gorgeous very country cottage core vibes I love it the greens and the oranges work together really nicely and I feel like I'll be able to create some really cute rustic kitchen shots with one of these styled in the picture so they're the tea towels that we got and then we also got matching napkins as well. Who thinks they can guess what design is on these napkins? <laughs> so yeah, my lemon obsession continues. These were just so cute. It's always handy to have napkins in. They were so cheap as well, £2.79 for a big pack like this. So mum got a pack and I got a pack. They also had some really cute like vintage 
lemon napkins as well which you may have seen on a little snippet they were very cute as well but i thought these ones looked more aesthetically pleasing so went with these they're so cute for summer aren't they and then i also got this super cute little watering can i've been wanting one of these for ages but like a really small one that i can pop on a shelf and I really just got this to do some cute little styling shots for Instagram but I feel like this could work so nicely outdoors, I could pop it on my shelf in my kitchen, I could pop this in the laundry room, I just thought it was super cute and the colour is very in right now, this lovely green colour, sage green colour, so yeah I loved that and I think it was only dead cheap, how much was it? $6.99 so yeah good little bargain there. And then you will have also seen that I found the Neptune Dupe coasters which is just amazing because whenever I go in home sense I try and look for these because I see so many people from like down south get these from their home sense. I've never been able to find them. We just normally have like the orangey colour, but I was just rummaging like round the back of the coasters and I found them a little set of four and these are so pretty. Whitewash is just so gorgeous. You all know how I feel about whitewash rattan. I've actually got the Neptune ones to hand over there, so let me just get them and we can do like a little comparison. So here are the Neptune ones and you can see that the Neptune ones are just a little bit darker but I mean that is a pretty pretty good match these are just a little bit lighter let me hold an actual coaster up I'll just hold them up side by side so you can see but that is a pretty good match do you not think like that color looks almost identical there these ones are a little bit thinner obviously with them being from home sense these ones are thicker better quality which is what you'd expect for neptune coasters but yeah i'm really really made up with these and when you've got friends coming over sometimes i can be a little bit precious about the neptune coasters and i don't want like I don't know, red wine being put on my Neptune coasters because that could just end so badly. But with these ones, you might not mind as much. So really good find there in HomeSense. This is something that mum picked up and I'm so, so jealous because it's literally all my favorite things. Amber glass, smells amazing and a gorgeous leafy botanical label. And it was only 6 dollars for like a huge bottle like this. I really wish I picked one of these up. Well, this might have been the last one, I'm not sure. But how gorgeous would this look in like a kitchen or if your laundry room or utility room has a sink, it would look so nice there. Would look gorgeous in a bathroom as well. I think one was gonna put it in her utility or a kitchen, I don't know. But it just suits the country modern vibe really nicely and amber glass, you just can't go wrong with amber glass, can you? Mum also picked up these two dark green glasses. They're very, very pretty, very Lydia Millen-esque just see if it'll focus. So they've got this leafy pattern all around the outside. Dark green is just so like stylish and chic, isn't it? It's very like cottage vibes, like country rustic cottage vibes. Very, very pretty. And she actually wanted the set of four, but they only had three and you can't really buy an odd number of glasses. So she went with just a little set of two but again, I'm very jealous of these as well. I think these are stunning. And these were five pound each, which is a little bit more expensive than what you'd usually pay at HomeSense, but the color and the pattern is really lovely. So I guess it's kind of worth it. And then mum also picked up these little thank you notes as well. I know it's not really like home aesthetic, but they are very cute. They say a wheelie big thank you on them. So that was everything from HomeSense, some really gorgeous summer finds there. You can always find some real good gems in HomeSense. It's such a good shop and I feel like you can find really unique things that not everybody has, so I love going for a little nosy round home sentence. Whilst I've got the camera set up, I thought I would also just show you one of my new beauty products that has arrived recently. So as some of you know, I am a teacher and I finished for summer last Wednesday and I was very, very spoilt by all my lovely children and parents. I'll show you a little snippet of that in a minute. I'll bring you into the kitchen because I'll still get everything set up. But I was very kindly treated to a next voucher from one of the parents, which was so, so generous and kind. Um, so I was just looking at next and I found out that next literally stocks so many brands now online I really didn't know at all they do NARS they do loads of like designer brands I was really really shocked they do Victoria's Secret loads of makeup brands so I got a little top up of one of my favorite NARS makeup products ever so I've been using this for years it's called the multiple 
by NARS and I went into the traffic centre the other week to get a new one because I'm running out and apparently they don't sell it in shops anymore. I don't know if that was just on that particular day but they said you can only get it online. So luckily I could spend the voucher on next and get my little NARS multiple stick. So I use this as like a cream blush and it's honestly the best thing ever. But the reason why it's called the multiple is because you can use it on cheeks, lips, you can use it as eyeshadow, you can literally use it as like bronzer because it comes in like bronzy shades as well so it is really a good versatile product to use like all over your face but I use it as a cream blush I use it like on top of my foundation I put my foundation on then I put my concealer on then I put my cream bronzer on my new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer and then I get my beauty blender stick it on the top of this and then just like bronze my cheeks and like this bit of my nose as well and it gives you such a nice colour I really really recommend this so I get the shade Maui and it looks really really dark on camera but I promise it's not let me just do a little swatch on my hand so as you can see like it just comes out really soft you can blend it it's really really nice I really recommend this product so much and it literally lasts ages so this will last me like another year now so yeah, I thought I'd show you that little makeup product. I got a few nice messages after my vlog that I did for my dad's birthday saying that people really enjoyed hearing about the beauty products and like the little reviews and stuff. So I'll try and do more reviews of beauty products in the future if that's what people like. So this is the lovely pile of gifts that I haven't yet put away. This is my job for tomorrow, or maybe even later on today. Because it cannot stay here on the kitchen side, but just how generous and lovely of all the parents some on the windowsill as well it's just so so lovely we always feel really like overwhelmed and really grateful at the end of the year and at christmas time when we receive lovely things like this so it was very very generous of them all this is so cute with my name on i was also given an amazon voucher as well by a few of the parents so if you've got any good ideas on what i can get from amazon whether it's like fashion pieces or home pieces then let me know and then some really lovely cards as well. I really love the homemade ones, they're so cute. I thought I would also just show you these that Jake made this morning. The one's looking a little bit burnt, but these are little breakfast cakes. So they have oats, a little bit of peanut butter, some chocolate chips, and I think banana as well. And they're kind of like a little breakfast cake. I always like struggle with breakfast. I love breakfast. It's like my favorite meal of the day when it's like sausages and like beans and pancakes and you know like like a hotel breakfast but in the week I just get so bored of cereal I don't know if that's just me but I just get so bored and I never know which cereal to get and it's just uh, I'm just like so bored with cereal so these are a nice alternative and they filled me up actually until like four o'clock so yeah, I'll have another one of these tomorrow for breakfast as well. I've just got this little setup in one of our lounge mirrors. I thought I'd also just talk about these cushions. So I'm doing a little collab with a gorgeous company called Your Stylish Home. I'm doing like a little cushions collab with them and I picked two William Morris cushions from the website and I was so so excited for them to come and they arrived and they are absolutely stunning but they were just too blue for my vibe. I feel like these are so good for Lauren in Harrogate's account. If you know, you know, Lauren's account is so stunning and she's literally the blue queen. So these would suit Lauren's account so much, but just for my home, like I'm into more of a creams and greens and stuff. So I just had to be honest and I said, I'm really, really sorry. They're just a little bit too blue for me. They just looked a little bit different to the swatch online, but your stylish home have been really, really good. They have asked me to send them back and they've sent over some swatches for me to look at instead. So they've been a really, really good company to work with. So I've got the swatches here and they are stunning. So I'll show you them now. So these are the swatches, they're all from William Morris, they're literally stunning, like I can't even pick one. But they've sent me over these swatches to pick to get two new cushions made from. Does that make sense? I feel like that sentence just didn't make sense. But basically I need to pick a swatch for them to make me two new cushions and I really need your help because I cannot pick at all. I've just made the camera a little bit brighter as it was coming up a little bit dark on camera. But this first one is so stunning, it really reminds me of the dark green one from Net tune like similar colours and um, what's it called 
Morris and Co. Acorn Moss. Yeah, the moss colour is just so gorgeous. I'm so tempted by this one. I feel like for the autumn months as well, coming up, it will just really suit. Like it goes nicely with greys. I feel like it will go nicely with like neutrals. Yeah, you can see it goes nicely with neutrals. It will go nicely with like my green foliage. So I'm so tempted by this one. I think it's so pretty. I'll open this one up. So this one is similar fabric to that one but this one i think is it it's the same pattern it's the acorn acorn mineral color so this has got a kind of blue tinge to it as well not as blue as those ones but it does have a little blue tinge but i feel like it does go really nicely with the gray and when it's against gray it kind of makes this bluey color look more gray if that makes sense so i feel like that is such a good contender as well it's very very pretty this one is acorn again in dove how gorgeous is that? I'm so drawn to this one. The colours are everything. I love the neutral background and this grey design on the front. Love that. So can you see why I'm finding it so hard to pick? I literally need like 10 cushions. The next one, oh, this one is so pretty as well. I love how subtle this one is, like how muted it is. It looks like it's the acorn pattern again. It says acorn in linen, this one, linen colour. But I just love how like simplistic it is and I feel like it will go really nicely in bedrooms as well as lounge. So there's like little benches. It'll just be a really lovely all-rounder. Oh my goodness, how am I going to pick? This is so hard. This one is stunning as well. This one is a strawberry thief in what colour is it? Strawberry thief in dove colour. And I really, really love this one. It's got like little berries on. It's also got little birds on, which I don't know how I feel about the birds being on because the birds are quite big like I do like birds but I don't know I feel like I like the like leafy acorn pattern a little bit better but this one is really really pretty and the colours are gorgeous this one is lovely as well look how big that swatch is I literally could get my dad to make a cushion out of this I think that's what I'm going to do actually I don't know if that's a bit naughty but the swatches they sent me are so big they've been so so good sending me these swatches and my dad can make cushions so I feel like he could make me one with the pattern on the front and then just get like a plain fabric for the back because you could just have one side showing don't you so I feel like that's what I'm going to ask him to do this one is lovely I just feel like it might be a little bit too brownie beige for my home this one is called mallow linen Still very, very pretty. And then the last one, this looks like Strawberry Thief again, but I feel like it'll be in a different colour. It's kind of that muted colour again. Is it the linen colour? No, it's called Flax. Very subtle, but very, very pretty. So yeah, I am having a mare deciding which ones to go for. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below in the comments. Let me know which ones you like. I do like this one and this one, but then I really do love this moss colour. I feel like it's a bit different because I'm, I'm such like a neutrals girl. So like obviously I want to go for these ones, but I feel like this one is just like a little bit different and can be a nice contrast. So yeah, let me know what you think. So I'm going to end the vlog there, everyone. I hope you enjoy watching. Hope you enjoyed coming shopping with us around home scent. So many gorgeous summer pieces in there and do let me know what you think of the cushion swatches because i just can't decide at all leave me a comment down below and let me know which ones you liked like i've mentioned previously i am going to try and get more videos up per week rather than just one a week since i'm on summer holidays and i like filming videos i just thought i'd try and get a couple more up a week for you all so do let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see just send me a little dm on instagram i'd love to know any suggestions and i can see if i can film them for you all so i'm going to end the vlog now i'm gonna get a cup of tea get cozy the weather is literally awful we were meant to be having a garden party today so if the weather was nice this video wouldn't even exist but yeah the weather looked awful so we decided to cancel the garden party we wanted to like invite everybody around to enjoy our new garden and our new garden furniture but english weather got in the way thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you next time with a new video bye